uh, you may have the speaker view there. Um, let me fix that for one second, but thank you, Evan. Uh, good to be here and uh, appreciate uh, taking the time. I'm Julian Green. I'm the CEO of Headroom. And um, we are building AI video conferencing, uh, which we think is the future of meetings. Uh, so um, I am going to uh, tell you a little bit about what we're doing and, uh, and then show you a couple of demos of some of the technology. So. Um, I'm having some technical difficulties here. I apologize. Um, hang on one second. Tell me if that is a good view for you. All right, great. So we have uh, a great team. We're currently piloting with uh, a bunch of startups, our AI video conferencing technology, and we have great investors, uh, including uh, Evan and Abby and their team from LDV Capital. So thank you for investing. And thank you for having us here today. If you think back, through history to groups of people getting together in caves, uh, not much changed for a long time. And so maybe we get together in cave-like meeting rooms instead of caves, but uh, still just a group of people getting together until video conferencing enabled uh, some of us to be able to meet uh, remotely. And obviously at the moment with COVID, all of us to meet remotely. But if you look at what it takes to do a video conference, <laughs> You can see we used to joke uh, at Google X when we were assessing new disruptive technologies that you could tell the state of technical readiness of a technology by how much duct tape was still being used. And on that basis, looking at what it takes to do a video conference, you can tell this is not a solved problem. We're at a very early stage. We have tiny sensors, a lens and a microphone in general that attempt to capture uh, you know, your reality. And then we try and send that reality to other people through a network where, because the pipes are being stretched by the, the heavy bandwidth required for the audio visual streams, that there's this trade off between latency and quality, uh, which means that we end up having conversations that often feel to me like we're sort of looking through uh, a keyhole uh, at each other and we're sort of shouting through the door. So not very natural conversations. Uh, Headroom is attempting to fix this, um, making it easy to use anytime, anywhere on any device. We're using uh, AI and computer vision. It's sort of funny that even though the name is video conferencing, that uh, the, other than getting the video pixels there on time, nothing, uh, it, no technology is really being used uh, to, uh, to look at the video and augment the video. So we believe there's a lot of uh, just as humans uh, assess uh, in a meeting what's going on by seeing what's going on, we think there's a lot of value in the information in the, in the uh, vision. So we're going to semantically understand the pixels and the audio so that we can prioritize the right ones and loosen those constraints of latency and quality. We want to add back in all those nonverbals we enjoy in person, so gesture recognition uh, and other nonverbal communication, people's expressions and so on. Uh, and we want to make sure that you don't have, you know, people attempting to meet while they're typing away, uh, you know, verbatim notes. And so have machines do what they're good at, uh, transcribing and monitoring, um, and have freeing up humans to do what they're good at communicating. And then meeting information seems to go into a black hole of uh, forgetting and bad notes. And given that most of us spend half our time in meetings, or maybe all right now, uh, we make that at Headroom uh, searchable uh, and you can go back and remember the bits of meetings you would like to remember and then share uh, as appropriate uh, with others so that meeting information becomes useful. Today I'm going to talk about just two things that are related to computer vision given the focus today on computer vision. One is better virtual backgrounds and the other is super resolution um, and I'm going to show you a video that our applied AI researcher Megan uh, recorded to demonstrate at Headroom Technology being used uh, for virtual background segmentation. So here she is, just a short clip. Uh, and here you can see how Zoom tries to uh, work out what's in the foreground, the background. You can see some problems here, the gap between the head and the headphones, the glasses flickering between the foreground, the background. Uh, it doesn't deal uh, consistently with the transition layer between the foreground and background around the hair. And poor Megan has webbed fingers. So we uh, have tried to do a better job and 
Um, you can see here that the glasses are nice and distinct. Uh, you can see that the gap between the head and the headphones uh, is working. Um, and uh, you can see that she doesn't, doesn't have webbed fingers. I hope the, uh, the videos are playing for you well here. Um, and uh, again, in stills, you can see uh, Headroom able to uh, get the glasses nice and distinct. And then the problems here with Zoom of flickering in and out uh, foreground and background. Uh, the mistake there of thinking that the gap between the head and the headphones is uh, in the foreground when it should be in the background uh, and webbed fingers. And so, you know, if you would like to be in a forest for your video conference, we would like to make that happen for you. And uh, you can see that uh, it's, it's a much better. Uh, background, uh, and we're excited to show you uh, that when you use Headroom. Second thing is super resolution. So I talked about the constraints of latency versus quality. What we're demonstrating here, and I'll play that video, is on the left, uh, 180p resolution uh, video that's being sent, and that we're super resolving in real time uh, with a deep learning method um, to this uh, high quality video that you see on the right. So this is a, an enormous you know, 16x bitrate saving uh, and almost seems like magic going from not much information to uh, great quality video. You can see here comparing uh, the traditional approach uh, of upsampling on the left from 180p to 720p. And I hope you can see that there's a big quality difference on the right, much superior uh, quality uh, video. So by loosening these constraints, we're able to uh, get a much better uh, experience with much lower bandwidth. So what's the future? We've heard a lot about avatars and uh, AR and VR. Uh, essentially what we're doing at Headroom is being able to understand in real time reality and then display it uh, better. And that will add dimensional dimensionality to having better video conferences. Uh, and we think that uh, adding this real time AI layer to the infrastructure and the communication means that we'll be able to have uh, better experiences and perhaps even specific ones for whether it be medicine, education, finance. So we're piloting right now. If you or people you know are interested in better meetings, better video conferencing, let me know. Thank you.